Hudson area, and we're going to now switch over to uh, News Channel 8's uh, Jeff Patterson, who's called in specifically to us uh, on Tracking the Tropics. Uh, uh, hey, Jeff, if you can hear us, uh, you are live with Eric Stone and myself. Hey, it's good to see you in the Max Defender 8 uh, Storm Vehicle, uh, and it's good to see you smiling, my friend. How are things going out there? You're our reporter closest to this landfall location, and landfall is imminent at this hour, as we understand it. Yeah, we've been monitoring it, as you know, uh, all night, JB, uh, and we've moved into the Max Defender 8 vehicle uh, just to get out of the rain for a bit and uh, out of the way of some uh, falling storm debris. So I'm going to have Joey Capistran, my photographer, who's sitting to my left, take a shot outside. I want to show you something that, uh, look at that stop sign. To the left of the stop sign is a storm uh, surge indicator. The water right now is, as you can see, around nine feet. I just spoke to someone from uh, Tamp uh, from the Cedar Key Fire Rescue, uh, and he told me that uh, they just received an advisory uh, telling them to expect a storm surge of up to 16 feet. Uh, Joey and I noted that the uh, gauge doesn't even go up that high. I believe it peaks at 12, uh, and so uh, it has a long way to go. If Joey will pan to your right uh, just a bit, uh, I'm going to show you something a little bit sad, and that is a uh, hotel that is there on the edge of the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see that the first floor of that building is just flooded. You can tell the water just kind of uh, the waves cresting above the windows right now. And if we still have another, uh, you know, six feet or more of storm surge to go, uh, just about all of that building may be underwater. You're looking at some debris that has washed uh, just up the street here. Uh, when we had that shot at the stop sign, the stop sign uh, is the end of one street. There's another, uh, you know, street that you normally goes uh, along the Gulf of Mexico that is completely underwater at this point. Uh, and so, uh, you know, the first floor of the buildings that kind of face the Gulf, they're now underwater. There are some hotels and other buildings there. We were downtown in Cedar Key earlier, we had to leave that location because the water was rising rapidly. Uh, some of those businesses are experiencing flooding at this point. I've been here through Hurricane Hermine in 2016, Hurricane Elsa in 2021, uh, and I know that downtown Cedar Key flooded with those storms, and the water um, was about at the level that it is now when those businesses downtown flooded. So. Uh, you know, they're experiencing that as we're speaking uh, right now. And of course, we won't be able to get out and see that for several hours until the water goes back down because we're not expecting high tide, um, you know, for four more hours here. So we've got a long way to go uh, through this, JB. All 